Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the look that I'm wearing on my face right now, but Connor, my husband, will be doing the voiceover. So I'm going to just do my makeup and he is going to tell you what he thinks I'm doing. So sit back and relax and enjoy this video and here we go. All right, here we go. Best makeup look ever, I'm super stoked for it. Doing a little cha-cha's Macarena. Okay, sorry. Done business. Putting on my hair tie thing. You gotta get all the hair out of your face. And here's a little bit of pure rub stuff that you gotta rub on your face. Rub stuff is rubbed on stuff. Um, bye guys. Peekaboo, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna put some actual makeup on. Here we go is some, um, this is foundation. You put a nice, decent amount on. Rub that in with your egg. Mine's name is Humpty. This is the big one. Dumpty is the medium one. And then took a fall is my smallest egg that I like to use. There's three sizes. Oh, I just dropped, oh, I just dropped Humpty. Humpty Dumpty fell off my wall, AKA table. Oh, look at him. Hair cracked mitts. All right, got to smear the rest of this back onto your face. This is the foundation stuffs. Um, Get it all in your crevasses. And ooh, I love this stuff. Makes me real excited. Do a little Amadala look with it. It's the uh, makeup paste. You gotta make it look very tribal. You gotta put it down on the chin, lips, foreheads, nose. Um, and then you just gotta smear it in with that Humpty egg that you dropped all over and got hair on it. Then you gotta go underneath the eyeballs. Get rid of them, them bagses. As they say in Canada, the bags. This is Dumpty. I love Dumpty, he's nice and squished. Uh, just rub that into the bottom layer and yeah, get rid of the, them dark circles. So no one has any idea that you didn't sleep and you just cried yourself in that, to, to sleep at night. Now I gotta dab it in with my favorite brush. Um, this is the Flit Foundation Powder. You just flit it all over the place, on your chin, going straight for them eyebrows. I got the eyebrow curler, looks like a mascara brush, but totally is not. That stuff is pink, and I didn't uh, just threw it on because I like pink, and I just smear it in with the brush like this. Make sure you do both eyes, because if you do one eye, then you'll look uh, odd. And I love my Disney palette. That one is definitely Aurora skin, and I'm throwing Aurora skin up in the corners and in the, in the crevasses of my eyelids. Make sure you do a rounded rainbow motion. Rounded rainbow motion is my preferred motion on brushes. Uh, you get that into your crevasses and we're done with that one. Now we're moving on to uh, Tatiana. Putting Tatiana back in the corner eyeballs. She accents well with Aurora skin, not Tatiana skin. You just get that in right there on your eyelids and then you go for the little bean in your eyes. Make sure you get the bean, otherwise it doesn't accent right. And make sure you do the other eyeball as we discussed earlier. And uh, I just like to flitter it around, getting the bean, the bean in your eye, and we're good. So you just shake the brush out, get all the uh, extra powder off before you keep going, because then you might get powder all over the place. Just smear it all together. I mean, not sorry, not smear. I mean, that's so silly. I mean, blend. That's the word I'm going for. That's right. Blend is in my head. There we go. Moving on. And that is glitter. You gotta, I put glitter on everything. I make everything glit. We're going with some glittery snow powder to accent the top of it from one of my favorite palettes, the uh, snow powder palette. And we're gonna just throw that on so that this nice winter wonderland on my eyelids with the snow powder and the glitter. You gotta blend it in with your favorite blending brush. Always use your favorites for everything. I always do. And just gotta blend them all in together. I want some more snowball colors in there. We're going with a snowy dark look. It's like snow on a fallen log. And it's beautiful aesthetic. And gotta keep keep with the dark colors. Gotta really highlight that, that wood, the nice bark around your eyes. So when people look at you, they're like, man, I just picture myself walking through a just snow fallen forest and there's that log with the snow on it and that's your eyes. Going with another color, really uh, 
bring out that look, the fallen log and the snow. And you gotta blend that out in together, blend it in with your other snow colors, blend it in with your little bark color. And you just careful of that eyelid. Do not poke your eyeball. I've done that many times. It is awful. You gotta splurch this little white cream. Be very careful. This stuff goes a long way, a real long way. And then you gotta do some more snow colored palettes, just different shades. If you do three different shades of the same color, you will definitely get an aesthetic three tiered look. And you always wanna go for three tiers. Everything's in threes. Do three whites, three darks, and everything above that is just plus. Now we gotta put them lashes on. These lashes really make your eyeballs pop, uh, give you those doe eye looks. Yeah, that's my husband. I love him so much. So you throw, oh, he brought me chocolate. Ladies, if your husband doesn't bring you chocolate that you can just gorge on, then uh, you better think twice. All right, here we go. Got my chocolate on, I got my lashes on. I'm going with the silver bullet to blend in my lashes, my real lashes with my fake lashes to really give a, a Bambi eye look, a doe eye look. Make sure you get your bottom lashes, put these uh, this blush on, get your favorite blush and brush, remember always use your favorites, and just blush your cheeks, find a nice skin tone bronzer and throw that on top. So now you get your blushing cheeks, you got your bronzed out cheeks, You're looking like a beautiful bronze age goddess. Always gotta look like the bronze age goddess. Aphrodite's got nothing on this. Look at this already, I'm looking amazing. Gonna throw a little snow white peach blush on top of the bronzer. Cause you don't wanna look like a statue, you wanna look like you got some life. So you gotta throw some, some pink peachy blush. Oh my hair's so good. And uh, just find Humpty again. You gotta rub that, blend that stuff in together with good old Humpty, faithful Humpty with the hairs on him. You gotta do a little kissy lips to make sure you're getting all the crevasses of your cheeks. Pure nude, makes you feel nude, just nude in the forest and the lakes and, and then underneath the great moonshine. This is my favorite makeups that I use and I put it on my favorite brushes. Blend that in with the bronzer and the snow white blush. Anywhere where you put bronzer on, make sure you put this nude stuff on and make it give it a greater skin color and stay away from that bronze age goddess statue look. Uh, throw that stuff on and uh, put it on your upper cheeks. Really highlight those cheekbones, tip your nose. You go from the tip of the nose, the brow of your nose, to your widow's peak, to your chin, and to your upper bone cheeks, then, mm, girl, you will look fine. Throw some setting spray on there, that way the makeup doesn't fall off no matter what. Fan it with your favorite fan, which is my hand. And then here we go, we're going bold with the pink lip gloss. Just dab it on with your thumb, don't go too crazy, don't get on the outside of your, your lip line. And if one wasn't enough, we're gonna go with two shades. Remember I said do everything in threes, but I think with lipstick we're just gonna do twos to really give you a pink two-tier effect. Uh, beautiful hair flowing out. And this is the final look. I am a Bronze Age goddess. All right, and here is the finished look. Um, I feel like the lip doesn't quite match the eye, but I didn't really have anything in front of me that was more neutral than that, so this is what happened. And uh, yeah, so other than that, that's how we are looking today. These lashes are dramatic. They are a little bit cray. But other than that, we are done for today. So thank you guys so much again for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. And that's it for today. Thank you again so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.